welcome back to my channel, Blessed and OCC Obsessed, where it is my goal to encourage you to pack full, fun, and personal shoe boxes by sharing shoe box unboxings. And I had so much fun doing a packing up of a box the other day. I think I'm gonna do more of those. I had great feedback and it was a lot of fun. But anyway, back to the box in front of me. The box I'm going to share tonight is for a boy age 10 to 14. You will see me share a lot of this age group and this gender um, because I know they uh, typically get the least amount of boxes and I know there are a lot of people out there who are looking for inspiration for packing this age and gender. So you will see a lot of this, um, this group on my page um, last year and moving forward but this particular box tonight I want to talk a little bit about um, the theme is Black Panther and it raises a lot of questions on a lot of Facebook pages about whether um, Black Panther items will be allowed if they're too scary and you know ultimately I talk about this a lot um, you need to seek God in everything that you do um, when you're packing shoe boxes. This is, in my opinion, God's ministry, and I am so thankful for being a part of it. And honestly, I, when I found the first item for this box, it was a, um, a Black Panther stuffy. Um, I hesitated uh, because at first glance, he looks like he could pe be perceived as scary. But um, I continued shopping where I was at and God just really urged me to go back and not only get one, but get two more for future boxes. And I have seen a lot of great feedback on it as far as, you know, people reminding us that um, there are other, there are children other than the United States who know about Black Panther and I honestly 100% trust God that he is going to get this box in the hands of the child who um, who it's meant for and so when I packed this box um, I kept in mind um, my experience at the processing center I have been as just a volunteer with church friends and then last year I actually was a team lead at the Dallas processing and you see a lot, you hear a lot, and there's a lot of questions about if something can be allowed in the box or not. So when I packed this box, I made sure that whoever is processing this box will know that this is a superhero, it's not scary, and so I will pray and put my trust in the Lord that everything that I packed in this box will get into the hands of the young man that it's intended for. So now that you've heard me um, share my thoughts and opinions on Black Panther, let me get uh, the camera reoriented and I will share my box with you. All right, friends. One of the first things that I did to ensure that whoever is processing this box understands what it is, is the way I decorated the lid. As you've all heard me say in my other videos, it's one of the things that I like to do in all of my boxes, just to add a little bit of color, a little more joy, and to deliver a small message. So when this young man opens his box, the first thing he will see is the lid. And what I did was I found a great clip art picture of um, Black Panther, made sure that the um, that it included that this is a Marvel character, Black Panther. And hes I didn't want it to be a crazy, scary scene. It's just the character. And then I added, we love you and Jesus loves you. So that is the first thing I did to um, ensure that when this box is processed, that when they start diving into the box, that they see that this wow item which is the stuffy I was talking to you all about. And that is the Black Panther stuffy. So I'm, I'm hopeful and trusting that God put this item in my um, 
in my shopping because it's meant to go in a box. So this is his stuffy and it is Black Panther. I also included a lot of other Black Panther items and one of them is this fun um, wristwatch. And it has the Black Panther on the face. And then I included in this organza bag, um, there is watch batteries, instructions on changing the, um, the batteries and the time, and a little screwdriver for um, this young man to change the batteries in his watch. I like to include a musical instrument or noisemaker in all my boxes, and he is getting a silver um, kazoo with instructions in it, uh, multiple languages explaining how to hum into the wide end of the kazoo instead of the small end. I included a small um, Rubik's Cube for him. This is a fun fidget spinner. It is um, bendable so he can play with the legs of it or he can just spin it. And this is actually a Captain America fidget spinner. I included a Black Panther yo-yo. A fun purple Hot Wheel. This is a Black Panther Hot Wheel from the movie. In this t-shirt pouch that I um, sewed together, I've included some fun sunglasses for him. A Black Panther Poppet. I'm getting down to a tool set that I included. This is a water pouch with a carabiner on it and it's got Black Panther on the front. I included a black notebook. A Black Panther and Avengers coloring book. And then this is an Avengers, um, it's like a, a kind of like a comic magazine and it's got diff, um, some comic strips in it and it's got some other fun activities and it just happens to include the Black Panther. This is a Black Panther um, reusable, uh, I think it's meant to be reusable for like food, um, but I included in this some, uh, a deck of cards and five um, dice. This is a Black Panther toothbrush, and the toothbrush cap is the Black Panther head. Some glue sticks. A black flashlight with instructions on how to use the flashlight. This is a crank flashlight, sorry. My husband says, I need to show you how to use these. A box of crayons. A purple, um, this is a Frisbee. I like to include these because they fit in every shoe box rather easily. A mini bounce ball. A calculator I like to include in all my 10 to 14 year olds. All right, this is his um, pencil pouch, and in it I include scissors, googly eye ring, just some fun um, emoji erasers, and then a pencil um, pouch. Uh, this is, I, I prepackaged these just to make um, boxing up a lot easier, and in this, um, goodie bag. I've got six number two pencils, a couple of fun pencils, a mechanical pencil, a red, blue, and black pen, a highlighter, and a larger pen and gear eraser. And just having this prepackaged ahead of time just kind of makes my process go a little faster. Some colored pencils. A pencil sharpener with extra pencil cap erasers inside. And then I inclu included some tools for this young man. 
along with a waist tool pouch. And this is a four in one screwdriver. I did not take it out. And um, that way he can see what all is in this. And that way he'll know, um, you know, what it is. It's a tape measure, some pliers with some wire cutters, and then a small, um, a short handled hammer. This um, is a large uh, bag that has Black Panther on it. I'm not going to undo it because it's kind of hard to get back in in this nice flat pouch, but once he gets it open, he'll be putting his stuff in it anyway, so that won't be as important for him. This is a little hygiene kit that I put together ahead of time, and it's got a black comb. It's got some emery board, um, nail files, chapstick, nail clippers, um, it's got some dental floss, and then I also added in here his cross necklace that I like to make and add to all of my shoe boxes. This is a, it's like a gator wrap, but you can be worn around the neck, around the head as a scarf. This little picture that I printed off and attached to uh, the scarf shows him the many ways he can wear this garment. I got a pretty blue, um, washcloth. This is a bigger um, comb for him. So he's got two combs in this box. This is a slap bracelet that says, what would Jesus do? I included a um, little golden book. It's a Black Panther um, book. Again, this is a 10 to 14 year old age. He may just be learning English. So I know it's not a real, you know, maybe a 14 year old might find it a little childish, but it does have great pictures in it. And again, I'm just trusting God that I picked this up because it's meant to go where it's going. And then I always include a ruler in my um, shoe boxes. And the, the older kids, I like to include a full size ruler and I, it's easy to lay it a diagonal in the bottom of the box. And then at the very bottom of my box is my personal letter that I include in all my shoe boxes. It has um, a love note um, letting the child know how much we love them and how much Jesus loves them. It includes a little bit of information about my family and I along with our picture. I always include these in my boxes and along with um, an email address. Hopefully one day I'll get to um, I'll get to enjoy a feedback from one of my children um, that receive a box, but I, I love doing this. I love letting the child know that we love them. Um, if you haven't already, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. If, you, if this is your first time checking out an OCC shoe box or Operation Christmas Child shoe box unpacking, check my description and you'll find some links to Samaritan's Purse explaining about this wonderful ministry. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please leave me a comment down below and I hope you come back and see me again. Have a blessed weekend.